Welcome to another video of the iPad only book. This is the co authors of the book, Augusto Pinot and Michael Sawinski. And in this video, we'll talk about mind mapping and about vision boards. I've been mind mapping, I really don't know. I want to say 2003, 2004, uh, maybe earlier than that. I know for sure that I've been using software for mind mapping since 2004. And when I moved to the iPad and the applications start coming, Mind Manager, who was the application I've been using for years, I even beta tested for them for version seven and eight, came with this application for the iPad. And I never look back. I actually, I'm not even sure that the Mind Manager is installed in, in my current Mac. And the reason is after I start mind mapping on the iPad, I never look back. The, the touching the mind map and playing with the mind map, never want to go back to to a mouse. Yes, and I, I have the same experience because I've been also using a, a Mind Manager, XMind, FreeMind, different you know mind mapping software on the Mac and on the PC before. So also I've been mind mapping for quite a while now. Uh, actually, for my for my yeah, I know in two thousand one when I was doing the uh, when I was, I was writing my thesis for my for my um, uh, for my uh, uh, college. I remember I I, drew, I I put lots of paper on the on the on the wall and I started mind mapping over there. So it was my mind map for the for my thesis. I remember. By the way, for the software part, when you go to the iPad, it's just you, you can touch the you know the bubbles there, the, the the things, and you can move them around. And mind mapping is really healthy exercise because you can you know just get, get this uh, what we call in GTD perspective. So you just you can move a little bit higher and see what your goals are, what you want to achieve, what your uh, and it's different from tasks and projects. It's really important to, to, to get this distinction. It's different. So it gives you the visual view. What, what, what do you want to happen? What has to happen so that the other thing happens? And then you can you know, look better. And it just looks better for you so you can really understand what you want to achieve and how you want to achieve it. Yeah, I love mind mapping because it allows, you, allows me to see connections that I cannot see on any other thinking way. And that's the reason I really like it, and I have done it for years. And side of mind mapping, I also do a lot of vision boards. I, every time I have found myself into a big change or a big connection or a big goal, I do a vision board. And basically, a vision board is a collection of images of what you are trying to accomplish. It's, it's like a mind map, but really made with images. And people get impressed when I show them what I do on the iPad. And sometimes they ask me which application I use. And it is the same mind manager as what I use. I just put the pictures there because it allows me to create all the connections as it is text. And then I just can hide all the lines of the connections and it will just show us all the pictures together. And it's really fantastic. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I haven't tried that for 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 vision boards. I, I I always put lots of text, but not very not lots of images. So I think I should try that one. It's a very good idea. Yeah, image for me help because sometimes for me it's hard to describe what I want to to accomplish and what I want to get, but it's easy for me to see the image of what I want to get. I right. years ago I. I said that I wanted to change my work in the sense of where and how and the dressing attire. And that that vision board was created around 2007 or 2008. And when you see that vision board, most of it has come to, to reality, including the fact that I work in shorts almost all year long, as I wish at that time, except in the winter for obvious reasons, but <laughs> except that particular point, I have been able to get a lot of that vision board. That is the reason I think it is so powerful to do. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And um, so yeah, going into this, uh, people, uh, you know, 
it has nothing to do with the iPad, but many people don't envision what they want to achieve. They don't envision what they want to do. And later they're, they're surprised that they're not getting there. Because, you know, as they say, if you don't know where you want to go, every road will get you there, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it, this is the same thing. I've been always envisioning myself working remotely, working from anywhere I want, just with the internet connection, so that I could be whenever I want, I could travel whenever I want. And like in my case right now, I could follow my wife where she gets, and actually you did the same, where our wives get jobs, we move there with them because we can work from anywhere. And yep. this, was, this has always been my, my, my goal as well. And it's, it's been working. And I, people meet me, you know, after college and, you know, it's been years after we finished college. And, I, and they're like, Michael, I remember you always wanted to work like that. And, and you're actually doing this, right? Same thing. I've been, I've been able to work at home and envision cool things and envision cool projects. And, and all that came from, from having that vision. And there is a, a saying that complement what you just said. And is if you don't aim at nothing, you will hit it any time, every time. And, and that's a little bit of what it is. The road to get where I am has not been necessarily easy, has not been necessarily clear. But I knew where I was going. And there has been, you know, when, when you see the studies of NASA about the rockets, if you see the trajectory of a rocket from the Earth to the moon, I think the, the, the percentage that is really on trajectory is really, really small. It's just constant adjustment on the trajectory. But the only way you can accomplish that is knowing where you are going and where direction you are aiming. And it has been that vision board, so I told you that one that I created in 2007, that almost everything has come to reality now. It is, and I have done others in the future, but that was envisioning exactly that. I wanted a work where I can work in a certain way in the, and basically location dependent that I can grab my bag and go travel next week and be as effective working where wherever I'm going, as I was on my home office, and it's come to be a reality. And the reason it's a reality was, in my opinion, that vision board. Yeah, and then that's why we encourage you on the iPad to play and to, to get your vision board done. Because on the iPad, it makes more fun. It's, you know, you can touch the things, you can touch the images, you can get the images from anywhere, you can put them there, or you can just type things, and you can move them around with your fingers. So get your iPad for that, to envision your future, and maybe the future will be iPad only, as it is for us right now. It is. So thank you. Thank you very much.